Here we go. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? Oh my God, he's stabbing bombs left and right. Lo and behold, Antarctic Station S1, also known as S, because this is literally what that is. It has been abandoned by the humans for the longest of times, and those humans that are still remaining over here, and dog, are pretty much in a dire state and in need of help, which is why I am here. And when I say I, I mean Bob with an exploding collar on him, and I have got the remote. Look at this. <laughs> if Bob misbehaves for even a second, you can expect the head to come off. And uh, this is not the only shock collar we have. No, we've got more over here. These two are pretty interesting. This is a shock collar, but this is a liquid collar. This technically engulfs the guy in a collar like this, and it it suffocates him slowly. Uh, and then I can inject a liquid into his lungs, I guess, which is going to be really cool. And I can do it all with this handy dandy remote from a safe distance away, all while Bob is being choked to death. Now, let's get this mission on the road, because over here, there are some syringes. These syringes are new and scary, and some of them turn people into this. A, a dog person. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna we're gonna play around with it, that's for sure. Without further ado, Bob, why don't you just make your way over there and steal the syringes for me? Because if you don't, I am just gonna um, I'm gonna activate the button and I'm gonna threaten you here. Please, Bob. Please just walk up. There you go. Go through the place. There, it's not that hard. There you go. Good job. And then just continue walking. There are some passed out humans in the way. Um, I might I warn you. Did you really? Did you really just... Oh, he just fell over. It's fine. Everything is going to shambles here. Oh, uh, it's not really looking too good. We need to put a move on, Bob. Just get up and over. Come on, then. Up you go. Nice. Perfect. And then just through this place. Ignore the human. Oh, God. Don't ruin the balls now. You don't want to get a glass shard in your hand or whatever. There you go. You hit the head on your bell there. It's, it's all good. Okay, get up. Get up, there you go, and walk forwards. Nice. You're, you've you've minor head injuries. Also, ignore the body parts lying around over here. There's also a syringe there. Please don't step on it because it might ruin you. Okay, get that body part out of there. And boom, just um, go up like this. There you go. Oh, stop screaming. There you go. And just through the whole place. There you go. Just infiltrate it like you would infiltrate your normal store, you know, for, uh, for booze or whatever. There you go. Good job, buddy. Okay, just a little bit more to just get up. Okay, there's some heads in the way. Let's remove the heads. Let's get rid of these weird parts here. It's all good. Bob is slowly making his way over there. It's, it's all good. There you go. Now say hello to your new friend and don't kick him like that. Actually, this new friend can piss off. There you go. Oh, a dog. Oh, Bob, wouldn't you just like to hold a dog? Of course you would. Who doesn't like dogs? Dogs are fantastic. Okay, pick up the dog. Pick it up, pick it up. Pick up the dog. There you go. Now, this dog is so kind and so pettable. There's could never happen anything bad with the dog. Could you pick up the dog again, please? There you go. Right. And move forward to the syringe. The dog exploded. And the the centaur over here is, is spasming out. So we're just gonna put him on his feet again. And um, right! So Bob didn't actually make it all the way through then. This is, she's he's walking away now. He doesn't want to be here anymore. Now, just to make sure, I'm going to activate the little head collar thing. And because we don't want to leave any loose ends over here, do we? There you go. It makes his head go boom, boom. Oh, and just so you know, this collar is actually super ingenious because it does not hurt anybody if it's not around the throat. Look at that. Bob is completely fine. Except he's not going to be fine later on. I'm actually calling this a victory. So I'm just going to... I'm just gonna take these syringes and I'm gonna take them out of here. There you go. Whoop, take them with me. Ass. <laughs> what a great name for a station. I guess it's really ass. Don't you love it when the plan just comes together? Over here, we've got five bobs ready to step in and try out these weird experiments. Starting off with this. I've actually forgotten what these are all called now. But we're about to find out, aren't we, Bob? There we go. Okay, just... Take it in. Come on, just. Hey, you, oh God! Oh my God! It just, <laughs> okay, this is the centaur syringe, and bibbidi boppity, Bob now has a new body. Uh -huh. 
Um, there's uh, some spare parts here. I might need these spare parts later on because you never know what's going to happen. But look at this. Pop, that's fantastic. I'm wondering if I combine it with the, uh, the parasite syringe. It will just be a dog with five heads or whatever. That's going to be great. Next up, we've got you. I don't know what this is, but it's it can't be good because none of these are good. Let's be honest here. Here we go. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? Oh, my God. He's stabbing bombs left and right. Oh, he's just growing out like a... Like, I, don't, I, don't even, I, I don't even... I don't even... Look, it's just, that's so good. That's perfect. It's like a protective circle around him. It's, it's like all the fins, you know, all of my brethren. We, we have this personal circle around us. And if anybody gets close to us, we're going to stab them in the face with a butter knife. Okie dokie then. You seem to be slightly injured, but worry not because I've got the cure right over here. It's in this weirdly orangey, yellow, greeny syringe. There we go. What does this do? Oh. Hello? Is it, oh my god. Oh, is that the same? Wait, what is this? What is it doing? <laughs> it's just growing arms all, all over the place. <laughs> what is happening? I, I'm not even... I don't even know what I should... Okay, ignoring that guy. Just go backwards a little bit. There you go. Okay, just just go there. Out of, out of sight, out of mind. Now, let's try the black one. This says, uh, this can't be good. Can Have I tried this before? I don't know. Yes, I have. It's that one. Okay. No, 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 no. Get out, get out, get out. No, no, son of a gun. I threw away my test subjects. Well, thankfully, I've got a cure. Now, it says that this might not cure them the way I want them to be cured. So, I'm just assuming this is gonna, this is gonna screw up my humans even more. So, here we go. <clears throat> Okay, there we, did I actually, did I get it in him? Did it cure him? I, I don't think so. Here we go. Okay, there's a little bit of a belly here. Get in there. Okay, this is a really tricky one to get the syringe into. Maybe we can try it on the dog first here. Okay, so the curing syringe in your butt. What happened? Um, stop running. Um, Bob, uh, Bob, you're, um, you seem to have some side effects. Um, you, you've de you definitely have some side effects. Oh God, this is not working now. Oh, the cure, the cure has been, oh no, it's not good. Um, here's another cure. Okay, thank God I've got cures lying around here. Here we go. No worry, Bob. You've got some serious tumors going on here. It's all good. You're gonna be cured in no time. There you go. Oh, thank God it worked. Oh my God. And he's completely healthy as well. Oh, it worked. Hallelujah. Oh, Bob. Oh, thank God. You're alive for my next experiment. The liquid color. I'm so sorry, but this was your future to begin with. You wasn't. You were not gonna leave this place alive to begin with. Here we go. Okay, change the liquid. What are we gonna inject into Bob through his mouth? Let's start simple. Human blood. There we go. And then we can also change the mode. We can put it to faster, middle, or slow. Well, no, we like it faster. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna inject him with some blood. Here we go. <laughs> Vitals? He seems to be fine. Must have been the same blood group then. So, no harm, no foul, eh? Okay, let's change the liquid. Gorse blood. Let's do that one. Also, you, if you could just simply screw off. Thank you. Here we go, gorse blood. That can't feel too good now, can it? No, -uh. can't feel too good. <laughs> right, okay then. He seems to be taking gorse blood with, um, with these. Why don't we change it to nitroglycerin? <laughs> This is not going to end well. <laughs> oh, my God. Doesn't feel too good, no, does it? Okay, I'm just going to leave you here suffering for a bit. Oh, my God. Um, Are you, are you okay? Uh, it's just stabbing yourself from growing new arms and limbs all over the place. Uh, this is a monstrosity, and it's time we cure it with the cure syringe. Cure syringe. Cure syringe. Oh, my. It worked. Yes. Ha. The cure syringe is much better than I thought it was going to be to begin with. Now, I want to take the liquid color a step further. I want to fill him up with some liquid that should be like definitely not be in a human. Okay, I'm not saying nitroglycerin should be in a human, but it, it can't be that harmful because Bob's still alive over here. So how bad can it be? Lung cancer syringe. Yeah, that's the one. And then we're going to put a conduit like that and we're going to fill it up and we're going to find out what it's called, I think. What is it called? 100% lung cancer. Okay, so let's change this then to 100% lung cancer. Doesn't work. Maybe just lung. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're gonna feel Bob with some lung cancer. Oh, <laughs> I can do this from a remote distance. I love it. Oh, Bob is not feeling too good. I, I'm, I'm still surprised he's alive. Oh, I have an even better one. Let's do sever syringe. Crap. Oh, Bob is coughing over there. How adorable. Here we go. What is this? This is called 
Sever Serum. That's what it's called. Okay, then. So, Sever Serum. Hmm. There we go. Got it now. And this should in turn make Bob lose all of his limbs in an instant. And it worked. Is this still alive? He's still alive. I can't believe it. Look, Bob is still alive. Look at this. All of his parts. I've, I've officially figured out a way on how to put new human parts together with the science of liquid. Brilliant. <laughs> Stop coughing. Okay, there's, there, I, uh, is there anything I can do about this? Oh, I know. I can cure him by making him a parasite. Perfect. There you go. Now, where's the parasite going to grow from? Because I've, I've got the syringe in the head. Okay, maybe we can put it in here then. Yeah. Nope. Over there. Over here. I think I've officially broken the human species. So you are just going to go straight into the trash bin. There we go then. Parasite syringe. I just want to see it in action again. Um, hmm, really? Why is it not working? Turn him into a parasite, damn it. Ah, there we go. No. Oh, maybe he's been injected with this stupid syringe. Second time's the charm. There we go. Really? Just turn into a freaking parasite, man. How hard can it be? While I'm waiting for the parasite syringe to be fixed, I'm gonna show you a neat little power that I've learned. You see, humans, they've only got one life. Unless you've got the power to rewind time, which is what I'm gonna show to you now. Behold, this guy is gonna have his head come off over and over again. There you go, and it's, it's gone. But then, at the push of a button, we can get its head back. And um, his head didn't come back. <clears throat> I got it to work. The parasite is back. And it is really scary. If I make this human walk, he will slowly walk. Oh my God, towards this another one. And then this just gonna, it's just gonna eat up the human. It's gonna come, boop. Oh, fantastic. But this is just one syringe stabbed into him. I want to make this a little bit messed up. Now let's start things off by making him a centaur. So, boof, they Go take the syringe like a big boy. There you go. Come on. Ah! All right. Cool. And then it's going to turn into centaur. There you go. And while he's doing that, I'm going to spawn in the parasite syringe. There you go. Okay. And then we're going to inject this into you. And you're going to become a dog parasite. Here we go. And then we activate the body. And it should... Oh, my God. It's working. Uh, kind of. It's a very tiny parasite. <laughs> <laughs> it's a super tiny. But does he does he hurt other humans? Does he wanna Oh look? Oh yeah. Oh. Oh he wants the human. There we go. Oh yeah! Eat it up! <laughs> I hate to say this, but I actually didn't try this one out. It's called a spike zombie mutation syringe. Infect others through stabbing. Can't wait to try this out. How does does this does it like oh my god, oh okay. Um oh, he's waking up. Oh, there we go! Oh, he's back and up and oh buddy. Okay, he's not he's now a zombie. All right, let's put another human over here. Cool. This one to the left is a zombie. Clearly indicated by the number of hands on him. And this one to the right is a normal human. Here we go. Let's just um stab. Stabby? Stab. Stab! Oh my god! What the hell just happened? Wait, it did the arm just shoot off? The arm definitely just shot off. Do they shoot off automatically? How does this work? So it's basically just stab them with your hands and they're gonna turn into zombies. There we go. Cool, great, perfect. 10 out of 10 would turn humans into zombies again. Just like I would like to turn you into a new subscriber. Dude, that was smooth, James. All right, cut, cut, cut.